Hey guys, Pico here. I was just running through the Gilbert's 2 Halloween patch and thought to do a quick video tutorial of the Shadow of the Mad King scavenger hunt. Let's start from the beginning with part one. You'll need to seek out Magister Tassie at the Grand Plaza in Lion's Arch where she'll mail you a candy-powered matter meter along with a trick-or-treat bag containing one piece of candy corn which will fuel the device. I would suggest farming a few candy corn nodes along the way as one piece of candy only yields four uses. While standing next to Tassie, press 3 to scan the etheric field which will reveal a ghost named Serene who will tell you her fate before gifting you a book called Mad Memories 1, Boyhood, as well as clues for ghost sites 1 and 5. Following clue 1, which says to dig deep in the muck where all the trash in Lion's Arch flows, head up to the northwest corner of Lion's Arch and jump into the water where you will see a sewer tunnel headed down. Swim through past all the broken ship wreckage to the back of the cave and then press 1 for aqueous scan. This will reveal the location of Samson who will tell you a story before handing you a book called Mad Memories 2 Friendship. While still Lion's Arch, go to the ruined underwater tower in Sanctum Harbor and use the etheric scan to reveal Tyna, who will gift you the book Mad Memories 2 Young Love. You can now either port to Shaymore Waypoint in Queensdale, just south of Divinity's Reach, or walk over while gathering candy corn and carving pumpkins for other quests. Either way, head towards the back of the graveyard just northeast of the waypoint. Use the gaseous scan near the green structure on the mountainside to reveal Prince Ewan Thorne, who will hand you the book Mad Memories 4 Deadly Adventures. Next, you're going to want to make your way to the Black Root Cut in northeast corner of Kessex Hill, where you'll come across several coffins, one of which will reveal a suspicious location. Upon clicking, a skeleton will emerge and point across the way towards an island peak where you'll find a ghost, Lady Lyrica, who will give you a book, Mad Memories 5, Bethroated, upon using the etheric scan. The last book, Mad Memory 6, Coronation, can be found in the Provernic Crypt in the northern region of the Gandharan Fields. Be prepared for a fight, and unless there are people in the area, you may want to bring a friend, as a champion spider stands between you and the book, as well as an ongoing set of traps which can kill on impact. Once you make it to the final room, loot the chest and use the Aquas scan to reveal two skeletons, one of which is Lord Humphrey Farron, who will begin running towards the opposite corner of the room, where you'll have to follow his tracks before catching up with him to gather the final book. Once you have all five chapters, return to Magister Tassie in Lion's Arch, where she'll mail you the completed book, which is a usable back brace, before telling you there might be another volume. This concludes part one of Curse, Shadow of the Mad King Scavenger Guide. If you like what you saw and enjoyed the walkthrough, show some love by hitting the like button and check out guildwars2guru.com for more guides.